Well, let's try this again. <sighs> Hi guys, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh card updates, and you'll meet Ollie. And today, I'll be showing you a fun skeleton deck. Um, it's not competitive, it's just for fun. Uh, it's uh, like an undead type of deck. I uh, thought I'd bring it. I I saw I thought I could make one, and I have. So, shall we get into this fun deck? So, for a skeleton deck, of course, we need some of the skull. Uh, next, we've got Skull Maria, Marina, and that's basically a skeleton boat uh, thing. We got we need a dog, so we've got Skull Dog Maron, Temple of Skulls to put all the skulls. We've got three Skull, ser skull Servants, the reason why we've got three of those. We've got King of Skull Servants, and it basically gains uh, attack times a thousand each. In the graveyard, that's why we've got them. We've got Skull Archfiend of Light Lightning. We've got Skull Mister Mister. Sorry if I said that wrong. We've got two Samurai Skulls. We've got one Skull Mark Lady by uh, Bug. Reason why we've got that because it's got the Skull Mark on there. We've got two Skull Skull Knight because you can get a, another Skull Knight. Uh, we've got the Skull Kraken, and why not? We've got a Supersonic s Skull Flame. Uh, we've only got one of those, but we've got two Skull Flame. We've got three Burning Skull Head, and we've got one ske Skelly Saurus. So that, they're the Skull uh, Monsters, Skeleton Monsters. And now I had to try and come up with the, the uh, spurs and traps to go with skeletons. And it was really hard to find like skeleton based, so I had to find zombie based stuff, and I did. So as you notice, they aren't all zombies; they're fiends and that. But thanks to Zombie World here, we've got three of those. The field spell card it'll turn them all into zombies, and this is when other cards can help. So we've got. Overpowering Eye, so target one, so we want to start in control with two feathers on the left side attack and it cat can attack directly, which is really cool. I probably won't go through all of them. We've got two core of the mummy, we've got zombie necro nuts, we've got two book of life, we've got core of of the earth bound, basically they're coming out up from the grave, we've got core of the haunted. It's a graveyard, skeletons are in graveyards. We've got um, Totten Mask, um, uh, Egyptian really, you would put it with Egyptian type of zombies, but it works for zombies. Now we've got three Fusion Substitute, and the reason why I've got three of these instead of Polarization, because one, you don't, you just use any, any of these as a Fusion, um, Fusion material monster, so you don't need to have um, certain fusion cards unless the fusion card actually um, says you can't do whatever, can't use any others. But this allows you to use any of these for fusion. That's why I've got three of those. The reason why I've got we've got B Skull Dragon or Black Skull Dragon, and as we don't have Red Eyes Black Dragon, we that's why we've got them, so we can use whatever we have Summon Skull. We've got Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. I know it says one level 6 Archfiend normal monster and one Red Eyes normal monster. It, uh, you can only special summon I mean, once per turn. So basically, I think I can still use this. Uh, correct me down below if um, this doesn't work with Archfiend Black Skull Dragon, but I think it does. Next, we've got Skull Knight. And basically, uh, anything. But really, for Skull Knight, uh, it's weird that's called Skull Knight 2 and that's called Skull Knight. This should be called Skull Knight 2 and that should be normal Skull Knight. It just doesn't make sense, really. But next to it, here we've got Zombie Warrior. Isn't, it should be called Skeleton Warrior or Skull Warrior or something like that because it's not really a zombie. But yeah, it's... Skull Servant and Battle Warrior, but again, that's why we've got Fusion Substitute. So, yeah, so this is the Skeleton deck. Um, more fiend, fiend type of decks are coming. 
And I am very sorry to say that we did not manage to do the Game of Thrones deck where I was going to make it. I was going to make a deck based off Game of Thrones. But it's taking longer than I thought because I'm trying to get it all actually accurate as possible. It's hard, but I'm trying to get uh, the characters look similar. So Yu-Gi-Oh card characters look similar to the, the characters in the, in the TV series. Plus as well effects what would really work if Game of Thrones became Yu-Gi-Oh. So I've been really trying to work on that. There are other decks coming soon as well. Not just these fun decks. There are actual real decks coming soon. So stay tuned for them. So I hope you like this video. And tomorrow is a gaming Yu-Gi-Oh gaming video. So come along for that. And I hope to see you next time on Yu-Gi-Oh card update.